Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiot. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. In today's video, I've got like um, a mishmash of hauls, um, Tesco and Lidl. A Lidl was done a little while ago, but I haven't obviously um, edited that and put it all together. And today's is the Tesco. Now, I'll be honest, I'm actually quite upset <laughs> um, I've only literally gone in to go and get um, essentials because I've been avoiding the shops for ages now and this is the stuff that I'm running out of so let me show you okay excuse the washing machine it's on its final spin for the towels I've got these waters um, my daughter really likes them they're a treat at night at supper time the camera's shaking so she I've got a couple of them to tide us over um margarine butter it's a dupe of lure pack mango and apple because we usually have orange juice every morning but she really really likes having a nice change i bought the finished powerball i usually only get the tesco's own brand but it worked out that with three pounds for 30 of the tesco owned and 100 for nine pounds so it works out cheaper to get this running out of rinse aid i've run out of rinse aid but i need to have some in stock dishwasher salt um, I usually get the little ones, but I was just in Tesco, so I got them. Cat food, I decided to get the chicken and vegetable. And then also, oh, it's just fallen off. These um, personal non-bio, it worked out cheaper to get this bag of 50 than any of the other brands. So that's why I've done that. And that's it. Oh, yes. Um, I got... This little yellow dress for a uh, support day at school. That was ridiculous, 14 pounds. And some uniform for her. Uh, hopefully she's not gonna swim in that. Um, so all of that was 69 pounds and 40 pence. Ridiculous. And I haven't even got a food shop in there. So, wow. Okay, as I said, the washing machine's on a spin, so sorry about that. Now, I've also bought some stone chippings because down the side of the path down to the trampoline, um, I want to put some wood chip chippings, and there were three, two bags for six pounds. And then I got some uh, Cotswold stone chips. They are going between my hose pipe and the next door neighbor's fence. So I'm going to stick those down. I've only got a small area that needs covering. So I got three bags of that, and I think it was three for nine pounds or like, if I wasn't a club card member, um, I think it was going to be about 12 pounds. I forget. But anyway, so I've got those. I'm going to put them out in a bit. But I do need to de weed down the side of the park and put some weed killer down before I put anything else down. So I'm going to crack on with that. I've got a pizza in the oven because I'm too lazy and I'm just going to have that for lunch. And yeah, so hope you enjoy. Yes, my cats are still not allowed on the counter, but they either sit there where Binks is now, looking out the window, um, especially if it's raining, they like to just sit down and watch the birds and the rain and whatever else outside, or they sit underneath um, the other counter by my kettle, which is where I usually prepare their food. Their food is on that side, our food is on the other side where the marble is, so they sit and wait for their food and moan, sitting underneath the, uh, like, basket tray thing that I've got underneath my shelves um as I said that's where I usually store it and that's where they sit and wait but I am still trying to keep them off the counters but uh yeah I'm having very little luck with that now this pan I've had super noodles <laughs> yeah I'm trying to eat through my cupboards in my uh, freezer and that just so I can start afresh and to be honest it is actually saving me money if I don't go and spend it on like school uniform and essentials um and so that pan i've just cleaned out with some barkeep's friend and once it's gone through the dishwasher it comes up as like new so there's like no marks in it whatsoever because you usually get like a marbling 
on stainless steel in, you know, once it's gone through the dishwasher and that prevents it. Now, uh, the reason I'm using the kettle, which is now broken, and this is, I've just put a picture in here for you of what the new kettle I've bought <laughs> while I've been editing this video. Um, so I can show you what I've replaced it with because the handle's coming off. And as I said, the reason I'm using the kettle for hot water is because I haven't got oil, Well, I've got three bars of oil. I'm trying to hold on to it because the price of oil is ridiculous as I said in previous videos. So I've decided since the summer's coming, I'm not going to replace the oil until the price is go down or sort themselves out and we know where we are with the oil now as you can see i'm trying to still keep things off the counters he's had his breakfast so there's no need for him to be on the counter and i'm just going to tidy up and do a little bit of washing up as well I use the Kirkland, I don't think it's Kirkland, um, well anyway I got it from Costco, it's a pancake mix, it's a buttermilk pancake mix um, and I made like donuts out with the pancake mix and I had a couple of pancakes and my daughter and I had them with some like chocolate spread put inside and so those are the, just the cups that I'm just going to, I whacked them in the oven to cook it for about 20 minutes or until they went golden brown and cooked through and I was just going to put those away, they were silicon so they're really easy to clean and I just, yeah, as I say, whack them through the dishwasher. There was one or two that hadn't cleaned properly because they ended up on top of each other. But that is now all done. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. show you my dump and go spaghetti bolognese now this is the bolognese sauce i don't make the spaghetti in the slow cooker i've just got 500 grams of mince that i bought from costco ages ago it's obviously been frozen two pots of stock um pots i used to use stock cubes doesn't really make a difference some worcester sauce or worcestershire sauce depending how you want to say it um i put a can of beans and a can of mixed beans in there but the mixed beans obviously need a good rinse so i rinse them out until basically the bubbles go away and uh, as you can see it's very very bubbly so once the bubbles have all gone the beans are clean you need to rinse these out and then i think it's a three bean mix let them drain off and then I'm going to stick them straight into the slow cooker. I haven't turned the slow cooker on at this point. I'm just throwing a load of mixed herbs in. You can either use Italian herbs or mixed herbs. Um, and I get, again, this huge pot from Costco and it lasts me forever. Obviously, it's also got a best before date. I'm finish, finishing off the uh, garlic powder and I'm also going to put some easy garlic in because I'm lazy and I'm too lazy to peel garlic and whatever. So I just use this. And um, yeah, two teaspoons uh, is quite a bit, but I do like my garlic. A load of tomato puree. As you can see, I've used about three quarters of a tube here. Um, 
then I'm just going to throw in some diced onions. Again, I've got like no fresh produce in my house at the moment because I'm just trying to eat through the freezer. So I'm just throwing everything in there seasoning it very well with salt and pepper i'm going to give it a mix up and then i'm going to throw in some dolmio sauce um and yeah i kind of defeated the object of uh having the salt free one <laughs> um maybe that was what it was the first time i've used salt free one and there was something missing in my spaghetti bolognese so maybe that was what it was instead of like the, the general straight up dolmio with no like removed ingredients or added ingredients now i'm going to stick it on high for about 20 minutes and then also put it on low for the rest of the day this is about 10 11 o'clock in the morning when i'm making this and it's ready for about five o'clock ready for supper just give it all a mix up and as i said throw my dolmio in and then just leave it i mean you can leave it while you're out working or whatever but I sometimes, if I remember, just give it a stir during the course of the cooking process. The longer longer it stays cooking, the longer it um, t has to mature. And I tell you what, it's, it tastes even better the next day. You can put this on jacket potatoes, spaghetti, just pasta. Yeah, um, you can do so much with this because it's sort of like a chili con carne without the chili in it. It's got the, it's a few vegetables in it. Uh, you can have a spaghetti bolognese, any way you like. But I like it uh, with spaghetti and on jacket potatoes, me particularly. <laughs> So at this point i remembered i forgot to put in a tin of tomatoes i sometimes use chopped tomatoes but i got plum tomatoes available that could also be white so it wasn't 100 percent um but the chopped tomatoes are a lot easier but these plum tomatoes are absolutely fine too and you just chop them up with your spoon or whatever and when they mix in they just break down anyway so it doesn't really matter if you use plum or chopped tomatoes for this <music> Today, guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video the next video i have um a bit of a <laughs> what started out to be a utility clean and ended up being a bit of a nightmare so be sure to check that out thank you to everybody who's subscribing i really appreciate every single one of you don't forget any products i use in my home will be linked on stickymouth17.co.uk um the spag bowl is an absolute dream um we had it for dinner last night i'm obviously recording this the day the after the day after while i'm busy editing the video so i do apologize about the shaking as well anyway guys don't forget to look after yourselves look after those brains and i'll see you in the next one take care see you bye don't forget and that's what you call hard work when mummy's working all right guys thanks for watching bye life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little And we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is